Hey everyone, Kevin with Skylab Flight Systems. Today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to bind a Lemon RX DSM2 8 channel receiver with satellite port to a Spectrum radio. Before we get started, there are three things that you absolutely have to have. Uh, first is a Spectrum radio. Um, a six channel or greater will work. Um, to get going faster, what one of the things that you should do is you should go ahead and set up your new model in your radio and then turn it off. Make sure it was the last model you worked on so when you turn it on um, in the later processes that model comes up. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need your Lemon RX 8 channel receiver, satellite port on the side right here, and then you want to have you want to go ahead and have your satellite. The last thing that you need to complete the bind procedure is you need power for your receiver. There are two things that you can do. You can install the receiver into your aircraft. Uh, if you decide to do that, please make sure that you have disarmed the motors or removed the propellers so there's no accidental arming or startup and, and you can avoid injury. Um, or you can use a receiver battery. Uh, the, there are actually batteries made specifically for that purpose. Uh, that's what we're going to do uh, today is I'm going to use a receiver battery. Uh, please do not try to use a 12 volt battery uh, to, to complete this procedure. It will blow up your receiver and it will also void your warranty. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the 8 channel receiver and we're going to connect the satellite right here on the side plug it in and it's gonna click into place it's a very solid connection and, and it'll almost be flush and then we're gonna set that down and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the provided bind plug and we're gonna plug it in on the top of the receiver where it says bind and it's the second spot right here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Now it doesn't matter which direction you have the bind plug facing because it's the same either way. Um, so then the, next, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna provide power to the receiver. Uh, you wanna provide the power in the throttle channel and on the lemon receivers, there's a diagram on the right there by the throttle channel that shows you that the signal wire is up and your negative wire is on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. What we should see is the LEDs for both the receiver and the satellite flashing quickly, which indicate that they are in fact in bind mode. So we're going to set those down. And then while holding the bind button down, we're going to power up our radio. You want to have a little bit of separation between the receiver and the radio when you do this so that it picks the signal up correctly and you don't have a failure the first time out. Um, it could fail. Um, if it does, repeat the steps up to this point and, and then start the radio. I have a DX9 and it will announce uh, the procedure uh, that it's doing as it goes. So let's turn it on and see what happens. And I had a bind fail right away. So I'll show you. We're going to repeat the procedure. I'm going to disconnect the power, reconnect the power, and then while holding the bind button down, I'm going to turn on the radio. All right, let's try one more time. And if that's not enough, I'm going to restart the video. Flashing LEDs. Holding the bind button down. Turning it on. Binding. DSM2, 22 milliseconds, 1024 resolution. Bind complete. Now, you can see that the LEDs are not flashing any longer. 
That indicates that they are that the receiver and the satellite are bound to the radio. So what we want to do then is we want to remove the power from the receiver, remove the bind plug, turn off your transmitter, and then we want to verify that that this receiver and satellite are bound to the radio transmitter. So what we'll do uh, is we'll go ahead and turn the power on the radio and then we're going to provide power to our receiver. Plugging it into the throttle channel again and what we should get is a solid LED on both pieces. And there we have it. That completes the sequence. If you want to use just the receiver you, all you have to do is omit the satellite, but now these two are bound to this radio. Um, visit scratchbuilds.com for all your lemon receiver needs, and always fly safe. Thanks a lot.